Boaters and fishermen hit the St. Lucie River at Sandsprit Park are not in favor of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers increasing the release of water from Lake Okeechobee. I live on the South Fork of the St. Lucie River where all this discharge comes through and it is a disgrace. I mean, it's terrible. At last check, the lake sits at 16.25 feet, the highest it's been since December of 2013. Corps officials say their main concern is public safety. It not only slow the rise, but ultimately reverse the lake level uh, to get the uh, lake level to a, uh, uh, a situation uh, that is not nearly as risky. Corps officials say record rainfall in South Florida in January has played a major factor in its decision. Many familiar with the environmental impacts of the release are curious to know why now, not earlier. We would have went in and wanted to release more earlier, you know, like in November. It would have been a deviation, which would have gone up to our, our headquarters for approval and then still go through another NEPA process just for that deviation. For now, boaters are hoping the release doesn't impact their way of life. This will kind of flush out, but in the summertime, that's when the, um, the green algae starts coming in and you can really notice the difference. The Corps does not have a timeline on how long the release will go on. They say it all depends on weather conditions. Reporting in Martin County, Jimmy Johnson, WPBF 25 News.